Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Alice Kang. A heated Burlington City Council meeting tonight. The former racial equity director at the center of a controversial new report suggests money for the 2022 Juneteenth celebration was mishandled. NBC 5's Tyler Baronski is live at City Hall with more on what happened at tonight's meeting. Tyler? Yeah, Alice, well, tonight's public forum was much longer than usual, more than two hours long tonight with most people showing their support for former racial equity director Taisha Green and former event planner Casey Ellerby. Now the report that was done by an outside firm says there was no evidence of embezzlement or theft. However, it showed mismanagement of funds before the celebration. Now the report says Green and Ellerby believe the budget for the 2022 celebrations was to be $500,000. The firm could only find an approved budget of $100,000, which later got amended to be $180,000. An additional $100,000 was secured through private donations. However, the city was still left on hook for a little over $131,000. Now, dozens of people at tonight's city council meeting speaking in support for Green, questioning the accuracy, motive, and timing of the audit. Conclusion section. It alleges uh, misconduct and carelessness. Well, then in the recommendation section makes it very clear that no law or city policy was violated. I don't understand how those two can coexist. Mr. Mayor, you need to apologize for how you handled this. You need to apologize for running Taisha out of the city government. You need to apologize for decimating the REIB department. And if you can't do that, Burlington can heal. Now, in a statement given to us on Friday, Taisha Green sharing in part, the city audited its only black event, in particular the Juneteenth that I wasn't in charge of. I see this report as exonerating me. I expected an apology from the city, and instead I get disrespected. Mayor Moreau Weinberger responding back in a statement as well, saying, for any person to misinterpret or misuse this financial review to feel their own vile racist narratives is wrong, and I reject and condemn that behavior. Now, in a social media post shared last week, Green said she would speak during the public comment session. However, she did not end up speaking during the public forum. And as you heard earlier in that last soundbite, uh, Ward 1 City Councilor Zariah Hightower calling on Mayor Moreau Weinberger to apologize to Green for uh, targeting her in these audit reports. We're live in Burlington tonight. Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.